in many ways I have known a lot of years a lot of days for you to be able to know that you're going to have a meal in the run of a day it, 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 it means help, good help because you're going to eat better Mr. Montgomery is one of 400 veterans and their spouses that we provide services to in Fort Bend County. We provide uh, meals to veterans five days a week, um, Monday through Friday, hot meals, and over the weekend we provide frozen meals so that our veterans receive meals seven days per week. We have volunteers who are loyal to this organization, providing meals to our veterans, come in in the morning, pack meals, and then go out into our community to deliver the meals to our veterans and their spouses. They, they, they serve it in a wonderful way. It's just, uh, it's unbelievable that someone will give you a, a, a full court meal, balanced, balanced meal, mm -hmm. and show that they put a lot of thought in it and you know that it's blessed. Volunteers are key to the success of our program. David Howard so says David, it best. What inspired you to uh, volunteer for Meals on Wheels? I started out as a, a board volunteer uh, with YMCA. And while I was there, I saw people showing up, older people mostly picking up their meals. It inspired me at that time that uh, I've got some time on Mondays. Uh, I still work, but I have some time on Mondays where I can deliver meals to people that need it, disabled people, older people. And I felt like it was something I needed to do, so it's uh, been a very rewarding, something I've really enjoyed. I get as much from doing it uh, as they get from me doing, to, you know, bringing the meals to them. So it's something I've really enjoyed. Tell me about a veteran that you've met while you were delivering meals. Raphael uh, lives in in uh, Richmond. Uh, delivered him for about four years. Uh, he's a former Air Force uh, military guy. Very interesting conversationalist, a great guy. He's about 82 years old now, and uh, we we enjoy exchanging stories. And uh, I uh, brought him other things other than meals and wheels. We've we've enjoyed each other, you know bread and stuff like that at Christmas time. And he's just been a, one of those guys that uh, I can listen to all day long. He's just a fun, interesting guy. He has a lot of interesting military and personal stories to tell as well. So he's been somebody I've enjoyed uh, delivering meals to over the last past four years. What do you think would happen if Raphael did not get his meal on a daily basis? Well, he, that's something he looks forward to, but it's more than just delivering a meal. I think a lot of times when we check on people like Raphael, who's in the 80s now, that we find make sure that he's doing well, he's healthy. If not, he, he depends on the meals and he loves the conversation. I love the conversation and the, sometimes I'm the only person he would see in a week's time. But uh, it's also making sure he's okay and that's something we owe our veterans for, for what they've done for us to, to keep us free all these years. It's a, it's a responsibility and something I uh, take seriously. If, if something's wrong, if they're sick or I sense something is wrong, I can call the uh, Meals on Wheels coordinator and report that and they can in turn call or call the family members and make sure these people are okay and that's a big part of this is making sure our uh, recipients are, are doing well. Because you, 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 gotta, you gotta know that people don't just do this for finances, they do it because it's a spiritual thing with them. Yeah. We, we just find it to be great assistance to us.
It takes love, you see, to live. It takes love, you see, to give. This I know, this I know, but it's so hard to show from me to you. I don't know what to do, but it takes love. Dreams. <laughs> 